Butter is another very important ingredient used for making cakes. There are four different types of butter. High fat butter, which is relatively new now in the supermarket, is great for making butter creams and for certain cakes like them. The gâteau basque, a pastry, puff pastry, but if you try to make a butter cake with it, it doesn't have enough water in it and the cake has extra fat and often will be too tender. So the, the type of butter to choose is a no salt, double A butter. The less expensive generic brands may have more water, and especially when you're making a buttercream, you could really run into trouble. You also don't want to get a butter that has salt in it. Even though you're adding salt to the ingredients in the cake, you're not adding nearly as much as is in the butter. And most salt butter is older than the unsalted butter because salt is a preservative and they can keep it longer, but you lack a little bit of the freshness of unsalted butter. So one of the ways that you can tell when the butter temperature is exactly right is just by feel and I'm going to show you the difference because when you make a cake the butter should be between 65 and 75 degrees and that's actually it's room temperature but if you're working in the summer without air conditioning or in a hot kitchen it may be 80 or 85 and then it won't emulsify well in with a cake batter and it will drop out of the bottom or to the bottom and it will be pasty so it's really important to keep the butter in between those temperatures this is frozen butter, and you can see that it's really hard. I can't press it. And if you want to take the temperature, an instant read is great, but you don't need to. You'll be able to see that this is between 65 and 75. But you can also see that when you press it, you can squish it. My editor won't let me write in the book squishable, <laughs> but I think that's the best possible term for it. Now, this is going to be butter that is too soft that's been sitting in an 80 degree room and you can see it's really more than squishable it's just almost ready to puddle so you want to use the butter at this temperature and if you want to speed softening and you haven't taken it out in time one of the best ways to do it is to cut it into little like one tablespoon eight pieces because once it's exposed to air within about 10 minutes it will have softened to the right consistency my recipes